So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a contrast band like this to a neckline or a cuff. And it's a nice way to just dress something up a little bit. So I started knitting in the round and we'll make this the body, which is, you know, we'll make this this part. And now I'm going to um, add the gold. And you'll notice it's also a pearl bump. So this round is going to be in pearl. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Now I'm showing you this to show you what will happen if we just go straight into the pearl bump. And what you can see happening is that although I'm changing colors, the pearl bump is gray. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to change this up. And I'm going to knit a few stitches. So you can see this is just a cat, you know, um, regular stitch where I'm changing color because I'm knitting it. And I learned to knit right-handed. I didn't know you even could knit left-handed, meaning which hand your working yarn is in. But when I discovered that it would be faster to knit continental, which is left-handed, I checked YouTube for some videos on how to do it. And unfortunately, I have very short, stubby little fingers and I couldn't, I could not work this all up here. But I found a video and it was actually on ergonomics as well that said if you hold your finger down near the needle, and this definitely feels very comfortable to me. This is my preferred method now. So <clears throat> you can see that I did a knit roll with the new color. And now I'm going to do the pearl row with the new color. And pearl and continental is always a wee bit more challenging. So I left these stitches that I'd done the pearl row on just to show you what happens if you went straight into that pearl row with the old color. And now you get two pearl rows. I'm going to keep purling on the new one. And this is where I knitted the gold first. And now you can see that we have a nice contrast. We're still on gold though. So now we have our contrast pearl bump. And we're going to finish it off with actually another row of the gold but knitting. So now you can see that we have the main color. We have a knit row of the contrast color. We have a pearl row of the contrast color. And then we're going to go back to a knit row in the main color. And you can see now and that looks. And that is, in fact, what I did here. And then from here, after you do a knit row of main color, then you can start after that your ribbing. So you don't follow the pearl bump right away with the ribbing. You have a main color knit row, and then you can start the ribbing, and that'll give you a nice edge. So I hope you find that helpful.